Welcome to Wacky Wednesdays, where everyone has a chance to show off their car mods. And here's this week's winner. Hey everybody, this is my 1970 International 1300D one ton pickup. I found this truck looking through Indiana Auden RV, wanting a four wheel drive pickup truck uh, with locking hub, straight axle, because I had issues out of a four wheel drive S10 I had. Of the two trucks I looked at, this one was still, still available. Uh, went and looked at it. It was for sale at Dan's Trucks in Perrysburg, Ohio. Drove up there, looked at it, put some money down, and towed it back home uh, next weekend in a snowstorm. And that's how I ended up with this truck. It didn't run. My stepdad and I put a fuel pump and rebuilt the carburetor, and we were driving around our neighborhood. So the automatic transmission it came with originally had problems shifting. We decided to get rid of it, put a four speed in it. Now over the years, I've had it for four years now. I now have a 345 International V8 in it and it's coupled to a New Venture 4500. Uh, the rest of the drivetrain is original though. Here's the engine bay. It is, it does have power steering, uh, vacuum boosted brakes, uh, 345 International. Two barrel Holly 2300 series carb. Um, large radiator. This truck, being a forestry truck, has a 10,000 pound Ramsey PTO winch. Big truck battery, always starts. No air conditioning, as many trucks back then did not. The front axle, International called an FA52, which is actually a Dana 70. Worn locking hubs. And the rear axle is. Uh, International RA15 full floating axle. One thing I really like about this truck is it has greasable leaf spring bushings. I have never seen that before. Uh, it has two gas tanks. Uh, this side, the pasture side, is auxiliary. They're both about 15 gallons. The wheelbase is 132 inch. According to this VIN sticker, it's only rated at 7,000 pounds. But I think it'll, well, I have hauled more on it, roasted out higher. As you see, the original bench seat is torn pretty bad. I took the headliner out of it. Uh, when I originally bought it, it had a beacon as well as a uh, antenna for a fire radio in it. And I patched, patched those holes. It leaked really bad. The headliner was stained and I took that out. The visors are original as well. It was a mirror. Big crack on the dash. Ain't much to a 1970. 70s interior. Gauges on engine monitoring gauges, the speedo works. That is believed to be correct miles. I bought it with 46,000 miles on it. One of the fuel tanks sending units work. I currently have hooked up. There's where you change your uh, fuel from tank to tank. Uh, manual choke, real simple, no electronic choke. Windshield wiper, uh, you got two speeds, high and low. Press on it to get the wiper or wash fluid to go. And your lights, obviously. Uh, you got a push button high low high low beams. Brake. Uh, this truck came with a automatic originally, a Borg Warner automatic. Uh, you can tell by this column here. It was an automatic. I just removed that linkage and put a clutch pedal in it. Trim down the brake pedal, put a Z, Z linkage in it, different bell housing, and put a four speed in it. This is a five speed DuVenture 4500. I can show you the bottom where it, the adapter is. Like my cup holder, screw to the dash. No radio in this truck. It did not come with a radio. Two speeds in your fan, high and low. And if you want some extra heat, so open this. Uh, door right here and if you want a vent in the summertime just open this puppy up uh, your fuse box is right here very simple glass fuses assume that's from back in the uh, state truck days and this uh, little lever down here is your PTO lever engages the PTO on the transfer case and your transfer case lever 
Well, that was this week's video, and to have your car mod shown on my channel here, check this out. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.